Hi, it's Daniel Cordero here from Top Banana Lures. I just wanted to provide everyone with a quick overview of some of the uh, recent lures that we've developed. I'll talk a little bit about their applications, uh, go through the different color patterns, and give you a little bit of uh, information in terms of when we're going to have our website up and running in the near future. Uh, but we, uh, we started Top Banana Lures probably about six months ago. Um, my background, of course, I grew up on the water fishing. Um, my dad's a carpenter by trade, and so because of that, uh, two, two of my passions have always been uh, spending time in the water and doing woodwork. But over the years, I've delved in different things, and more recently, I've, I've started to develop my own uh, custom wooden lures. Um, so I started with some top waters, uh, some basic designs. Uh, for example, here's uh, one that we make now. It's called the Surface Walker. Uh, the color pattern for this is called Knucklehead. Uh, I named it after uh, after someone who came up with the idea. But um, the, the bottom is uh, short truce with silver flake. The top is uh, silver with blue flake. Uh, I have a single um, inline trailer that's dressed. Um, some of these trailer dressings, or, or most of them, are, are all bucktail. I have some silver and other types of flashing. Uh, but in some cases, I'll actually incorporate some... Um, um, fluorescent uh, flashing uh, to give a little extra uh, vibrancy under the water. But uh, the main purpose of this top water, of course, uh, it floats. Uh, it's keel weighted in the back, so it sits almost like at a 45 degree angle. And with simple twitches on the water, you can contr uh, control this walking type motion, basically back and forth, uh, change the speed and the frequency. Of course, you can make it more of a glide or maybe a, maybe a quick uh, walk back and forth. So we have a few different color patterns for that. This one uh, we're calling intergalactic. It's just a, kind of a, a combination or merging of different colors. That's where we came up with the, with the idea of the uh, color pattern. It's got some red uh, flake on the top, so black uh, on the top, sea foam on the belly, a little white, and uh, some gold 3D eyes. Um, just some simple natural bucktail and silver flashing on the trailer. Uh, same same idea, surface walker, uh, top water. Here's another surface walker. We're calling this one ghost mullet. It's just a light silver on the top and mostly uh, white with some uh, gold, red, and uh, silver flake. Got the red eyes on this one. Got the yellow, uh, white, and uh, black uh, bucktail. Real nice bucktail on this one. Okay, uh, here's another top water design. This is just a standard uh, popper. So you can see we've got a, uh, a curved mouth on this one. It's a little, uh, uh, it's a little more peaked in the in the top here. Uh, we can also do uh, hollowed out or cup mouths, but uh, this one's just in a um, um, green and white color pattern. You can see I've got a, I've got an inline hook on this one as well, uh, with a little chartreuse, uh, red flake, and uh, fluorescent white. Let me get my black light to show you an example of what I'm talking about. So what I mean by the uh, fluorescent flashing is that when I uh, put a black light on these lures, you can see that they uh, light up and glow. And so the whole idea behind these uh, fluorescent colors is that when exposed to ultraviolet light, they're going to reflect the color much better underwater. So it's going to be very important for uh, dark water uh, or just murky, cloudy, milky types of uh, water. Uh, the fish will, will likely see this lure a little bit better. At least that's our uh, theory behind that. Okay, so moving on, uh, oh, whoops, sorry, last, uh, last top water. Uh, we also have a diving popper. As you can see, uh, you have more of a scooped uh, mouth on this one. And so the whole idea is that you can uh, have a slow, steady retrieve in which you'll get kind of the side-to-side -side swimming action. But if you give some uh, quick, uh, abrupt uh, jerks or pops on it, it's gonna dig into the water, create a lot of splash, a lot of disturbance on the water surface and uh, make for a lot of uh, commotion, hopefully which will entice uh, some bites from some big fish. But uh, intergalactic color here, sea foam on the bottom, white on the mouth, black and uh, flake on the, uh, on the top. Okay, uh, so moving on, uh, our next type of lure is called the Jig and Shad. And so it, it kind of looks like a rattle trap. It functions a little bit like a rattle trap, but it actually suspends in the water quite nicely, which is a unique fat, uh, feature of this one. So despite being a wide uh, bait, it's relatively narrow. And so on the retrieve, it's going to have a nice side-to-side -side wobble as you pull it through. If you let it sink, it will sink very slowly. 
and uh, instead of a, a side to side sinking it actually rocks back and forth as it sinks so just reflecting uh, any of the uh, uh, finishes that we have on it so this one's just a standard shad color we've got a shad spot on there just the uh, chrome holographic eye and we got some white and silver silver on the uh, side black on the top uh, I wanted to mention uh, all the um, hardware on these baits are all stainless eye eyelets so these are twist eyelets so these are custom made with different uh, gauge stainless steel wire uh, we have heavy duty uh, split rings these are 100 pound test split rings and for the hooks I'm using the uh, short shank VMC treble hooks uh, what I like about the short shanks is you can get a bigger gauge of hook uh, without having so much length on the trebles uh, one problem with these types of baits is that if the trebles are too close together or the treble hooks are too long they'll sometimes get tangled uh, just creating more fuss and less time uh, uh, for your lure to be in the water but uh, we've uh, strategically placed these uh, eyelets far enough apart and we go with a, a wider short chain hook so you got plenty of hook surface area so to speak to, uh, uh, to entice a bite or a hook onto whatever bites it uh, so that's our standard shad color this color a uh, new pattern is called uh, filet mignon so we just call it the filet for short but you can see it's got the nice pink progression from silver pink to silver to uh, to black on the rear we've got the chrome holographic eye and if you look real closely you can see a little bit of the wood grain through uh, it almost looks like a like a steak or a tuna steak in my uh, my opinion so hopefully that'll be uh, appetizing uh, to the fish Another jig and shad, this one we're just calling deep purple. Just a simple purple uh, with a little silver and uh, black on the, on the rear. Here's another uh, newer color pattern. Uh, so we went uh, a little bit further with the standard shad. So we've got the shad spot, we've got a red eye on this one, but we've got a purple on the back and a little short truce on the mouth. And so we're calling this pattern surf candy. So I made this pattern uh, specifically with surf fishing in mind. Uh, anyone who does a lot of surf fishing, uh, a common bait is not only uh, shad, but you'll have uh, white trout and croakers that have a little bit of that iridescent purple and pinkish. And uh, So hopefully this will uh, emulate uh, some of those bait fish um, um, on the surf. And let's see, uh, and that's the last of our uh, jigging shads. Uh, the last uh, bait that I want to highlight is uh, one of the newer designs. And so for this one, um, we're calling this the uh, LC Minnow, or Little Cedar Minnow, LC Minnow for short. And so this is a combination uh, retrieve, similar to the jigging shad, but it also has a uh, toe point on the front, so it can, you can actually work it like a twitch bait. So uh, it's a semi-suspending bait. Uh, it's, it sinks a little bit faster than the jigging shad. Uh, but it should make for a nice twitch bait uh, in any type of shallow water conditions uh, in deep water alike. But you have the advantage of uh, choosing your toe points, whether you want to go with more of a uh, uh, erratic, lipless crankbait type re retrieve, or if you want to do twitches, uh, which are going to be more sporadic as you twitch the bait through the water. And um, I just want to let everyone know we are uh, taking some other uh, videos and pictures of some of the actual performance out in the water. So we're trying to put together a compilation of uh, a compilation of videos um, to uh, uh, to hopefully uh, put that on the website soon. Uh, and our website, we're hoping to have that done and finished and uh, up on um, social media and on the internet uh, come uh, Memorial Day uh, of this year. Okay, so uh, back to the uh, LC Minnow. So this one is uh, the deep purple color pattern. I've added a little short truce to the mouth on this one. I've got the short truth, uh, short, short truce eyes, um, and I've got some uh, short truce purple and uh, white flashing. And so there's uh, a lot of holographic features on this one, including the eyes. So we've got a nice uh, fluorescent eye, got the nice fluorescent tail. You see the glow there. Another LC minnow. This one's in the uh, surf candy pattern. Check out the bucktail on that one. And I can make these different sizes. This one's a little bit, uh, a little beefier, a little more stout, a little more material. Um, but we can also make a slim down version depending on the species of fish that you're after. Uh, here's our, another uh, LC minnow. 
I call this pattern rat red, and so it kind of looks like a baby redfish. So the whole idea behind this is that, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the pictures online of uh, people catching these uh, monster trout with actual redfish down their throat. And so my thoughts are that, you know, trout probably hate redfish and they become territorial. So if you've got a little red, a little rat red type bait swimming around, maybe that'll entice some bites from some bigger specks. That's my theory anyway, but we'll test that out soon. So there you have it. Uh, those are our main baits that we have uh, that we've tested and optimized and, uh, and, are, and are ready for the water. Uh, we can customize any color pattern, of course, and we're continuing to develop new types of top water, new types of twitch baits. Uh, etc. Uh, everything's made from uh, different types of wood um, depending on the type of bait. The top waters, the uh, surface walkers are made of poplar and so you got a nice hard wood but the advantage of it being a little more buoyant than say your oaks um, etc. Uh, the uh, jigging shads are all made out of cypress so different uh, degrees of cypress. The LC minnow uh, is made out of Spanish cedar so hence the name little cedar minnow and all standard poppers as well as um, um, diving poppers are also made out of cypress. Okay. Well thank you all. Uh, if you have any questions you can always uh, email us or uh, write us a note or a comment on social media. We've got some uh, cards and it's going to put a little display here. But we'll have a link at the bottom of the screen with some of this information. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, prices, we're putting together a price list as we uh, speak. And uh, we'll have all that information on the new website, uh, hopefully up Memorial Day uh, this year. Well, thank you all, and uh, have a good weekend, and uh, happy fishing.